It's time again for Film Focus. Here's Mike Labeman with what's new in local theaters. This week, we're going to take a look at a concert film, something we've never done before, but since it's a show by BTS, I feel that many will probably be into it. They are apparently a worldwide sensation after all. But first, it's time to revisit the land of Berg, where we were first introduced to the dragon-fearing Vikings back in 2010. If you've got a Night Fury, hop on, because it's going to be a very fun ride. Welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Lademan. Show them what you got, bud. The adventures of Hiccup, Toothless, and Astrid continued in 2014's hit How to Train Your Dragon 2, and now here we are again, over four years later, with The Hidden World. Now chief and ruler of Burke alongside Astrid, Hiccup has created a gloriously chaotic dragon utopia. But when the sudden appearance of a female light fury coincides with the darkest threat their village has ever faced, Hiccup and Toothless must leave the only home they've known and journey to a hidden world thought only to exist in myth. As their true destinies are revealed, Dragon and Rider will fight together to the very ends of the earth to protect everything they've grown to treasure. It's taken some time for this trilogy capper to arrive, more or less nine years in fact, but we can now say that it's all been quite worth it. The series has been remarkably consistent in its quality and the same can be said about the hidden world. The animation just keeps on getting better and better and the story is truly affecting too. If you've seen the previous two, this is a must-see. And if you haven't seen them, well, see them, and then check out this moving finale. It's you and me, bud. Always. They're the world's biggest boy band, and if you love them, well, then you probably really love them. And if you don't, then you're probably completely indifferent about the whole thing. This BTS concert itself takes place during the August 26, 2018 show of the band's Love Yourself Tour at the Seoul Olympic Stadium. 42 cameras were used to shoot the film, so if you've never seen a live show of theirs, this is about as close to the real thing as you're going to get.